recording beginning. Hello, this is episode 5, I believe, of Octung Cthulhu, and tonight I have two of my favorite players, at least top 10, um, when Luke and Sartaj, played by Walter Peck and Zypher. Uh, Sartage is uh, currently searching for Luke because uh, he disappeared in the attack on the Germans last time. So let's uh, move it on over. Um, Sartage, you uh, spent the day today heading back out um, towards uh, the temple in Bhutan from your village. Um, you had seen uh, George and the others off uh, and they had boarded a, a small plane. Uh, you made sure that they were uh, going to leave with the scroll and not uh, tarry as promised and they did uh, heading south uh, along the continent to Bombay you assume. Uh, where you're supposed to meet up with them uh, later on. Um, and uh, I'll let you kind of give your thoughts and kind of open up with uh, some uh, just uh, inner monologue talk, whatever. Yeah. Um, uh, so since we, we um, you know, leaving that cave, uh, coming back, them flying off and me back on this journey, how many days would have passed? Maybe probably two, two days, four days. Right, two, two. two. Okay. We'll say two. Okay. Okay. Cool. So <clears throat> two since you got back. It's two since you got back from from the the cave. Probably a total of uh, four. Okay. Okay. So to, this will be the fourth day since we left the cave. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. four days where uh, Luke. We don't know what's up. We don't know where Luke is and how he's doing. So four right. days. Yeah. So you know. So Sarstaj. He, he he would have made sure that Lena, George, and Frank uh, were were taken care of once they got back to the to the village. Um, you know, he made sure that the uh, the local medicine man in the village brought them some uh, ointments and salves and balms to uh, help them uh, recover from the you know torturous and arduous journey that they faced. Uh, Sartaj himself. Uh, um, he kind of retreated from the group. He 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 respects and understands the position George has been in, but he feels that George tested some of his friendship in this mission. He feels that what was retrieved from the the temple should not have been retrieved, and if it did come into hands of people like him and George and Lena and Frank. And Luke, for that matter, it should have been destroyed and not, you know, taken back into um, civilization where who knows what what it could uh, uh, bring upon. Um, so he retreated to the to the temple, to the local temple in the village, and he he spent a, a few nights there in meditation and calm reflection on what he himself went through. Sartaj knows um, he's been out. Uh, in nature enough, he has led enough exp expeditions to know that no expedition goes uh, as goes to plan. Um, but this is the first expedition where it was not just not according to plan, but it was almost otherworldly. You know, Sartaj is a religious man. He 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 believes in the in the existence of God, and he feels um, God does guide his path and keeps him safe but he also knows that it is a matter of belief and faith um, and, and not n n not being accustomed to to seeing things he cannot explain um, you know either through just knowledge or through the scriptures um, and at the same time he does struggle with uh, the, 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 the sense of failure he feels um, uh, in the caves he was not strong enough to um, to to face the the challenges he faced, um, so all this is swirling in his mind, and uh, uh, the, the the night before the rest of the group leaves back to Bombay, he decides that 
he must find out what happened to Luke. He, it is not, it is not in the Sherpa's code to leave uh, a, a a man behind. Um, the the circumstances were extenuating. Yes, um, um, he couldn't lose all of them, but but now the rest are safe, and it is up to him to find uh, the last member of his expedition. He's not sure what state Luke is in. He, but he knows that he must find either Luke or his body, um, because he does not want what they saw to do things to to him. And you know, he's not sure what it is, but he knows that even if Luke is dead, his he deserves a proper burial. He deserves the proper rites so that his soul may 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 may. Enter the afterlife or whatever afterlife Luke believes in, but it cannot be just left to chance or to the hands of what he faced. So, with all these thoughts swirling, you know, Sartaj starts the trek back. He retraces um, his steps. Um, he gets to the point where they drove up on the jeep. He's carrying a much heavier bag. He's taken, you know, additional clothing and blankets in case he finds Luke. Um, you know, uh, um, in 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 a state of shock or hypothermia or any other um, um, uh, serious condition, and with these thoughts, as he's climbing back uh, the mountain and on the trails, what 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 have I let pass? Have I let my friendship blind my my duty? But what is my duty? Is it to my people? Is it to my country? Is it to the planet? What were those things? I was up close. I fought with everything I had and yet I couldn't make a dent. They were not from this world. They were not of any world I know of. Thoughts, thoughts that they could project into our minds, our head splitting from that experience. Oh, George, I hope you know what you're doing. Sometimes just following duty may not be the right thing. And then with that, Sartaj continues his trek alone with the wind swirling around him and snow lightly falling. Um... You know, as he's climbing up into like into the distance, the footsteps that he did a long time ago have been snowed over, and it almost looks like there is no one in in this wilderness again. Yeah, um, you continue hunting and looking. Let's switch over to to Luke. Can you see the screen, Luke? Is it still I black? cannot. That's it's weird. Still black. Let me. I'm going to try something here. Because I click on you and it, it indicates that you can see, but... And I have global illumination set, so... What about you, Zypher? Can you see? Yeah, I can I can see him, me, and the yeah. the, the map where the... I could see it the beginning, the and then it went black, so let me try this. Uh, maybe refresh your browser. I already tried that. I'm doing something different here. Yeah, there's a big old, <coughs> excuse me, orange bar at the top. When I load in, it says uh, your token does not have site permission. Hmm. Let me look. Uh, token. Vision. How about now? There it is. Now I see. Okay. See happy little trees. Okay. We're gonna move over to a different, different, uh, different one. Can you see now? Or are you still having issues? You do not own any tokens with vision in this scene. Okay. Ah, uh, now even I can't see anything. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me, let me. Uh, I'm still a foundry noob. Lighting, global, global illumination. Okay. Token. Vision, boom, update. Can you see Walter Pack? No, in. I can see. Yeah, vision, 
transmission enabled. Okay. Okay. Now I can see. All right. Um, Luke, uh, three days ago, uh, you came out of the uh, cave and you were um, looking for. Um, uh, you were scouting um, for anyone uh, during the middle of the night uh, as everyone else rested. Uh, during that time, you uh, came upon something strange that uh, filled you with fear, and uh, you hid as it went by. You hid and hid, and uh, eventually there was uh, Germans chasing you. It's all kind of very confusing. Um, and you exchanged gunfire, and um, you weren't hit, but you um, were captured, uh, surrounded by Germans, and uh, you were forced to throw down your weapon, and uh, they've made you their captive. Um, you Do you speak German? I'm assuming you I do. You do. Uh, so uh, there, you find their conversation to be quite strange. Uh, they don't they're not talking like normal German uh, soldiers would. They talk about uh, things that you don't rightly understand. Uh, as they talk about uh, going back to him, uh, that he is upset. Who are they talking about? Are they talking about some sort of officer? Um, they're talking about uh, that they must uh, open the way for him um, over and over again. Um, you, you notice, uh, can you give me a, um, let's see, uh, what would be a good role for this? Um, how about a observation instincts with, uh, insight? Two roll dice. Okay. One success. Good enough. Um, you, um, you think that, uh, the German is not real great, um, for German officers. They're, they're speaking it, but, uh, you think you're more fluent than they are even. <coughs> Excuse me. So Luke, as he kind of sits there listening to everything, he has not revealed that he speaks German. Uh, he probably waited them for them to say halt or some sort of universal you know mm -hmm. being pointed having a gun pointed at you is a universal language most everybody can understand so he's been quietly listening to them the whole time you know slowly trying to you know piece together the puzzle of why these you know supposed german uh infantrymen and officer don't exactly look the part of germans or speak the part of germans and then more curious is to who <laughs> they're referring to. So he quietly watches and bides his time and uh, does his best not to get uh, frostbite or hypothermia as he waits for an opportunity to arise. Yeah, your hands are bound uh, and your feet uh, as well and uh, to each other with a rope. Uh, it's, it's fairly... Um, rudimentary uh, rope tied around the feet rope tied around the, the hands rope tied around between them you know mm -hmm. um, let's see what uh, what languages do you speak I speak German German English and Afrikaans okay all right um, one of them uh, you know gets up and goes to take a piss uh, a little ways off. Sartage, uh, you've been uh, tracking this, um, uh, essentially a, a fire um, that you finally came upon smoke, uh, seen it in the air, and you've been um, going in that direction ever since. And you come over a little hill, and you look, you look over past the trees, and you see the scene of uh, four German men and Luke tied up. Sartaj immediately uh, crouches <clears throat> and uh, ah ah he he's alive. This is this is good. But the German the Germans around that is not good. There is more of them than me. 
Mm-hmm. Is he um <clears throat> Is he to the side somewhere, or is he like they they put him in a place? Yeah, where he, he's all... mostly on the side. He's kind of a little away from the fire, um, with one uh, one of the infantrymen sitting next to him, uh, and the rest uh, they kind of trade off, and uh, ones at the fire or ones next to him, and the rest are at the fire. Okay, if okay. I can figure out how to deselect. Uh, cool. Just give me a moment. Thinking of something. Um... Hmm. So Sartaj would, uh, what he would do is um, he he would uh, stealthily, uh, slowly, because you know there is time that he's not under any sort of like um, uh, hurry. Um, he will start getting closer to where Luke and the single infantry man are, mm-hmm. um, and when he's about you know maybe maybe two hundred or three hundred yards away. Um, Sartaj will um, um, try and kind of mimic some um, animal animal sounds, mm-hmm. um, just to see um, if if like kind of Luke kind of uh, gets it, you know. Um, so he's going to try and like uh, it's night. I'm assuming it's night based on yeah, the scene, sure, it's night. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So he'll try and uh, uh, mimic a few bird sounds. Um, which shouldn't be heard at night, and and knowing that Luke has at least spent some time in the bush, assuming you know they would have talked along the journey about their backgrounds, um, he's he's going to try to use that to see if he can at least alert him to to the fact that there is some help around, right? Um, yeah. Why don't you why don't you give me a survival, uh, a uh, insight survival skill check insight for for sabotage. Okay. Uh, Difficulty is one. Difficulty is one. So here goes. Uh, uh, okay. Ooh, that was close. Now, Luke, uh, to kind of figure this out, give me a um, insight and observation hearing. So observation, basically. Difficulty is one. Observation insight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, so you kind of do hear this uh, bird sound, and it sounds a little strange to you, and you, you kind of uh, take a peek that way, um, and you do see a. Uh, you, it's hard to see clearly um, what what is out there, but you think you see a um, shape of a person. You, you don't recognize Sartage in the darkness in the distance, but uh, in the dark, you know, he hears a sound, and he kind of thinks to himself, "Is." Is that the wood-crested titmouse? What? That's not a sound. <laughs> he wouldn't be awake in this area. And uh, he kind of... <laughs> he looks into that area to see a figure. He, he can't quite make out friend or foe, but definitely something out there in the black. Um, he assumes uh, one of two things. One, it's either... Uh, that thing that had caused dread and fear in him earlier a few days past or perhaps a fifth member that uh of the party that he has not encountered yet whatever it is he kind of does his best to remain nonchalant and uh continues to observe both the infantryman near him and the uh, uh outline of an individual uh, outside of uh the campfire's range. Yeah. A few minutes later, two of the officer and another man at the campfire began to argue. And at first it's German and um, it's hard to hear because just to how bad their German is. Then it breaks into another language that you completely do not recognize. Um, it's completely foreign to you, uh, and they, they're like speaking very quickly. It's almost a, it sounds like some sort of Asian language to you, but uh, you don't you don't follow it. Uh, you know you don't you can't. Maybe it's Chinese, maybe it's Indian. You don't know, right? Uh, maybe it's nothing, um, but um, it's definitely a, definitely a different. Uh, language than German uh, and uh, it kind of surprises you as they break into this and uh, one of them uh, gets up and points at the other and kind of stalks off a ways um, in anger 
So how many are left? There's one that uh, moves. There's one right next to you. And actually, uh, Zypher, he comes in your direction, uh, walking that way. But there's three next to you, Luke, or in your general vicinity, yeah, yeah, I should yeah. say. Yeah, he, he was walking straight towards you, Zypher. Um, can you make a, a stealth check? Sure. Uh, stealth and what? Uh, agility, it should be, right? Agility, okay. Yeah. Ooh. So that's one momentum. Um, he's going to do an, uh, an observation check. Uh, he doesn't have any of that, so... What would that be? I think it's insight. So just two dice. Yeah. Um, so he doesn't uh, doesn't see you, and he's he's probably standing just a a few feet next to you. How are you? How are you kind of laying low so he doesn't see you? Yeah. So as soon as uh, uh, you know, uh, Sartaj doesn't know if Luke's Luke's uh, understood his signal or not, but. You know, kind of right around that time when he kind of makes those birds noises, uh, he starts he starts hearing kind of a commotion which he doesn't understand the language, and then um, you know some sort of a um, um, infantry person pop up and start walking towards him, and he you know kind of curses under his breath like ah, this was not what my intention was, and then Sartaj just kind of um drops to his knees and and kind of and he just lays flat on his stomach fully prone he does pull out his knife um and um uh, starts tracking the um uh, infantry person that's walking towards him um eventually the the person you know stops a few feet ahead um and sartaj makes sure that his breathing is really low um so as to not uh, alert him he will wait for a moment where the infantry person's back is to him mm-hmm. um, and the moment that happens Sartaj is going to uh, lunge and try and uh, basically assassinate him yep. with a with a well-placed knife uh, knife knife, uh, go ahead knife and, yeah. go ahead and roll me a melee attack um, so you're gonna do uh, brawn and fighting um, on and fighting, fighting knife. Yeah, I just get the. I just or get actually, the I'm sorry. Weapon. I'm sorry. It's it's coordination, not not. To, or I'm sorry. It's agility, agility, agility. and, and uh, fighting. Fighting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you have fortune. Gonna... You have. You can spend fortune. Um, this is a whole new game. Um, so you both have three fortune to spend if you would like. And that gives me an immediate success. Correct? It's like you rolled a one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't have okay. focus, right. so it's not gonna give you two, but it would give you one success. Or no, a one's one's give you two. That's gonna give you two successes, right? right off two, the bat. two successes, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna use that fortune. So mm-hmm. so I'll make that two. Um, yeah. And then I'm gonna use that momentum. Um, so you know, I'm just going in for the kill, right? So like basically, maximum. Yeah. Um, so. So uh, you have, you have two momentum now. You haven't even rolled, right? Yeah, not even rolled. So before I did the fortune, there was already one momentum in there. Yeah, and you oh, right. you want an extra die? Is that what you want? I, I want to do an extra die. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, so agility, d- yeah, agility and fighting knife. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna roll three dice yep. with the fortune that already gives me two successes. That's right. Uh, and okay, so four successes. So what he's going to do is he he's not going to roll a defense necessarily. He's, he's going to roll the same thing, insight, perception. He doesn't have any, so uh, it's against this. Uh, two dice. So one. So that's you generate um, you generate three momentum total. Um, I think that's right. You got four. He got one. Yes, three momentum. So you have three momentum in the pool. What would you like to do okay. with it? Uh, oh, go ahead and roll your damage. You might you might want to roll yeah. your damage first. Yeah. Uh, it's asking for number of dice. Three, right? Uh, no. Go ahead and click. So if you go go to your equipment. Yeah, yeah. Gear, I'm inside of my gear. And I then click go the... click go click on the stress part. Yeah, yeah. So when I click. Yeah, on it, it says number of dice three. That's right. Ah, yeah, yeah. So just ignore that. Okay, that's just for my information. Okay. 
Yeah, okay, so that's three damage. Um, and then I would u like to use um, um, all of that, uh, like three damage plus, yeah. uh, plus it's three. persistent is the effect plus, so, so if I can I do, can I do six damage? Yeah, you can do or six. Five, you can do or six. is five enough to kind of... Uh, um, five would be enough enough because it's not he's not considered armored in this at all. Okay, yeah. So then I leave the one momentum and do like five damage. How do you? Uh, how, okay, so you cut his throat. We'll say. How do you do that, or how do you kill yeah. him? <clears throat> yeah. So Sartaj, you know, as soon as the German infantry person kind of comes in front of him and stands there, he waits patiently, and uh, when as soon as that infantry person has his back to Sartaj. Um, Sartaj kind of closes his eyes, he says a small prayer and nods to himself. He knows what he must do. This is not, it is, he's not, he is not in war. He is not a warrior, but a member of his, um, uh, a group is, is being held captive and he must do what he can. Um, he pops up like a panther in the dark and, um, goes behind um, pulls pulls the German officer's neck back with with his left hand, which is covering his mouth, and with his right hand, the knife in it, he um, drag you know he just basically drags it across the throat, um, slowly, um, um, uh, purposefully, and with a lot of force, um, immediately cutting the uh, the arteries and blood kind of just splashing on the. Uh, the dark leaves, but in the darkness, it just looks like black paint on, on a black canvas. Mm -hmm. um, and the the uh, as the body slumps, Sartaj moves his hands and kind of puts it underneath the person's uh, armpits, make sure that it doesn't make any noise, and then slowly um, lets the body kind of fall to the ground noiselessly. He then keeps the knife in his right hand and he starts uh, uh, kind of moving around a little bit to you know. Um, uh, away from the body but towards the Germans but uh, then he realizes like oh what am I doing right like he's still in that mode of that fighting mode with that um, with that, 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 that ceremonial knife of his um, mm -hmm. he sheets it and he pulls out his rifle um, and he's now ready yeah Luke would you have watched him walk out and maybe you could have seen that in a, kind of a weird shadowy exchange he sees it and um realizes that it's uh, definitely not a friend of the german so you know the enemy of my enemy is my my friend <coughs> not realizing that it is our ties so he looks to see what the other two are doing and the one by him and if no one's <coughs> paying any attention to luke he's going to try and not necessarily untie his hands but free his hands from the tie that connects mm -hmm. his uh, bound feet and hands. Huh. Let's do a coordination uh, and either You want athletics, don't you? Um, uh, yeah, I was looking. Yeah, I, I, th I was trying to think of some physical training, discipline. Trust me, no, I, was no. looking through. I think I think athletics would work. Um, either that. So or what stealth. was the first one? Coordination, athletics. Yeah, let's do that. Difficulty is one for that. Oh well. Oh, oh that's. He's good. as cool as the other side of the pillow with yeah. those rolls. He kind of subtly just kind of, you know, the twist of the wrists. Um, <clears throat> maybe keeping the line on the If you want to spend uh, one momentum, you could just take take them all, all off, I would say. You could get them just off Yeah, we'll everything. do that. We'll get it so it's loose and can just easily mm -hmm. slip out or perhaps you the know, old suddenly Chewbacca. turn one. Yep, turn one into uh, an impromptu garrot or, you know, strangling mm -hmm. device if need be. Yeah. Um, so while, yeah, while he remains, it appears he remains tied up, he, he's he's no longer doing so and continuing to watch the shadowy exchange out 
you know, in the distance, and then the three remaining Germans. Yeah, um, you, you loosen your bonds, and um, they're talking the strange language back and forth, and one kind of points towards where it went down with Sir Taj, and uh, you, you don't make out what's happening, but they're all kind of looking in that direction, and, um, like they look confused like they definitely didn't see anything you're, you're pretty sure but like they're like where did he go is your assumption um mm -hmm. and the german officer uh, and uh, this guy kind of makes their way out there as this guy uh, posts up on you um kind of giving you an eye but mainly looking past you to see what's going on in that direction uh sartage you do see uh two individuals making their way uh in a general your direction um they do have their weapons out um they uh one of them uh has a flashlight uh, uh now and uh they're making their way towards you yeah so seeing that they're making my way towards me and that they have the 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 flashlight um uh, asartaj is going to like you know um he's he's already sheathed the knife and he's pulled out his rifle and he trains it on them, and uh, he's going to fire. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, go ahead and do that. We're just going to keep it here. I don't see a reason to flip over to a, a map. You could, you're could. you at medium range, so um, what, I think your gun is probably a, a medium gun, it, right? Uh, it is. Lean, yeah, medium range. Yeah, range perfect. Medium. So it's a, it's a difficulty one then. Okay. Difficulty and there's one. two momentum. Okay, and by default it picks up coordination. So yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use a momentum to roll an extra die yeah. just just to be safe. And um, would you say that Sartaj can see the officer better? Um, 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 yeah, because or, or yeah, because he has a flashlight. Oh, perfect. So Sartaj is going to train uh, the rifle on that person and uh, shoot. Yeah, if he didn't um, have a flashlight, you might take a, um, a penalty, right? Penalty, yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's the roll. Okay, Woo, that's that it. Is that is a hit. Um, so he's uh, you can't dodge or anything. So he t you go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, that's not good. So Ooh. six damage and. <laughs> And uh, that uh, he does have his one armor, uh, so that actually kills him because he's a he's a trooper. So he takes one injury. Uh, make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, minus one armor, so that'd be five damage. Uh, he has five stress. Doesn't matter. So that that's actually a two injuries right right in one shot. So how how do you how do you kill this guy holding the flashlight? Yes. Yeah, so as uh, you know, as they start walking towards him, he now knows that okay. Um, oh, while they do not know what's happened, he he was stealthy enough, but they do miss see a miss. They, they do see somebody's missing, and as the like the lights bobbing towards the you know he can't see who it is, but there is a light bobbing coming towards him. So he kind of you know steadies himself, picks his gun, and tries to hit center mass above the bobbing light. Right. Um, and once he feels that he's comfortable and the light's close enough, he just fires a shot. Um, he hears the, you know, the Wilhelm scream on the other side. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and uh, he hears the body slump and now he knows the jig's up and uh, he, he moves his rifle uh, towards anything that starts. Are you prone, him. by the way? Uh, no, I, I would say I would be standing okay. because I don't think I would be able to make that shot if I was prone. So, okay, yeah. that's fine. Uh, so it's their turn, technically. Uh, you don't have enough um, momentum to keep the initiative. So this guy shoots into the dark, so it's going to be an extra difficulty. Uh, so this would be a difficulty two shot for you. He's also at medium range with his Guazwir, however you pronounce it. Um <laughs> And he's just going to make a normal shot. Uh, he misses. Um, so this guy shoots his rifle back at you. Uh, it just You just you know hear the shot. You don't hear the whizzing of the bullet or anything. 
Uh, Luke, you're up with the guy. He's uh, he's definitely paying attention over there now. Yeah, as he looks that way, you know, if he can, is he behind him, like, or is his? He's kind of like right next to you, side by side. We'll say. If that's the case, then he's going to take the rope and get it around his neck, and then just kind of get behind him and just try and strangle him. Can you? Um, okay, so uh, let me uh, let, hold on. Let me pull up here. I'm not actually. It's going to be quicker for me just looking the book. Hold on, for Garot. I'm sure they're in here. Gilhui, I don't know what that is. Um Grenades. There it is. Um, okay, let me just do this real quick. Edit. Okay, you should have a uh, garrot now that you can uh, All roll. Alrighty. There we are. That's a lot. Uh, of and here. use what brawn? Uh, it's a no. It's a if it's hand to hand, it's going to use um, agility. Okay. So I do have a focus in melee weapons. This is a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. It is though? a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Yeah. Okay. All right. So One success. that's a uh, he's so he gets to roll a um, so he's gonna fight back, right? He gets to roll his hand-to-hand. Uh, -hand. Uh, he doesn't really have that. So um, fighting roll. So uh, that's a success by you. Um, because it's a tie, uh, so you can go ahead and uh, do damage. So it's a number of dice, five. It is five, yeah. It's pretty good. Ho oh, ho! Um, okay. So, uh, snare, I think, means just. I have to look exactly, but. It does. Um, it's going to do four damage because he has armor. Um, it's nice, nice. not quite enough to kill him. Uh, unless you want to uh, spend that momentum to add an extra damage and do five damage, and that would give him injury and kill him. Ah, uh, let's do that since he's a yeah. uh, red shirt. So how, how does it how does it look as you strangle this guy to death with your makeshift groat? So in the classic bad guy mistake, he you know isn't paying close enough attention to Luke, and he kind of springs free of his <clears throat> restraints and. Puts the rope around his neck, and though he struggles, you know, maybe tries elbowing Luke once or twice in the in the torso. Um, he just keeps doing like almost a reverse cross collar choke out, except with the rope. And then it just gets tighter on his arteries, and he passes out. And he keeps the you know pressure on until you know he stops breathing, and uh, then he lets go. And, you know, the guy doesn't move and doesn't draw breath again. Yeah. This guy doesn't, uh, the guy heading towards Sartage just sees this flash um, uh, heading, you know, from uh, Sartage's weapon and he fires towards that. So um, I'm just, uh, I'm not going to give him a, a penalty uh, for darkness. Um, so he's going to, he's going to fire difficulty one shot. He's going to do a salvo. Um, 
So he's going to salvo, and I'm going to spend one threat for an extra die. Um, so here we go. So two successes. Uh, so that's a hit. Um, and uh, he's going to roll damage. Uh, yep. So vicious. Uh, vicious is in the effect, so I think vicious gives an extra extra damage I want to say is that right for vicious or is that intense I think intense gives an extra injury if an injury happens and vicious gives one damage That's it. vicious 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 what Qualities. Yeah. <clears throat> One extra damage. So three damage with your armor. Uh, armor is three. Okay, so it, uh, it it wings you, but doesn't doesn't uh, hurt you. Uh, how does that look? As he fires back, but yeah. So when Sertaj fired, you know, his muzzle flash kind of gave his position away. Um, um, and you know the the German infantry person seeing his, you know seeing his uh, uh, commander drop immediately turns his gun on Sartaj and kind of almost like instinctively fires in that direction, um, but the the shot is slightly off. It 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 hits it hits his shoulder, but you know Sartaj is wearing thick yak hide and uh, wool to keep him warm, and he's also got that big bag of uh, additional supplies for Luke and um, um, uh, you know he's, he's like kind of it just kind of gets the bullet gets lost and all of that mm -hmm. uh, and this time now he knows everything's up so he kind of shouts in the into the night air Luke it's Sir Dodge yeah and when you if we're on the next next uh, round so when you guys can go it doesn't matter you can just pick uh, yeah, I'll try and shoot. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Now this is a uh, yeah s same since she just fired two, his muzzle flash went off, so you can fire on that. Um, okay. So uh, here we go. Uh, hopefully this hits. Oh. No. Yeah, you shoot back and uh, just it misses that time, uh, and uh, he he returns fire to you. Uh, you know again. Um, I'm just gonna do a normal normal shot. Um, I am I am gonna do a salvo uh, again. Uh, so roll. <laughs> he misses. So yeah, you just guys firing at each other in the dark and nobody hits each other. Luke, you can go. Uh, did the dead soldier by me have a weapon? Oh yeah, he gun? he had he had uh, a rifle. Yeah. Yeah, he'll pick it up and aim at the back of the German uh, infantryman and pop off a shot if able. Uh, yes, minor to pick it up, and you can shoot. Just use your um, just use your Springfield. Yep. And it says long, but uh, th these ones are medium, so don't worry about it. You're, you're good. Oh no! Of course. So you hit. Um, you hit him. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, five damage. 
Um, and do you have it? You don't have any talents that let you like do anything special, do you? Like, um, I have the aim talent, which doesn't apply here because I picked up the weapon. Mm -hmm. Um, sharpshooter. The bonus is free. When, when you take an aim action before me, the first bonus d20. You buy is free. I see. So, oh, um, in addition, the attack gains piercing, or uh, you got to aim though. I think with yeah. that one. Okay, and so you had to pick it up, so you couldn't do that. Okay, um, I think it's just five damage. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any, you know, heavy momentum. So he takes five damage. Nope. Minus armor, so he takes three damage. Yeah, you hit him and uh, ha you wing him basically. Yeah, he. He aims up and he snaps a shot off, but you know, it's damn German rifles. Uh, they don't aim quite as well as his Springfield, and he manages to hit him, but it's not a kill shot. Yeah, and uh, your your weapon is jammed too. You realize, yeah. um, so it's gonna take it would take a full action to unjam it. Um, he he does turn on you, um, and uh, he's gonna shoot at you, uh, Luke. Uh, kind of spins around and sees you next to the campfire, and uh, he'll use his last uh, salvo. Um, Doesn't salvo use more uh, it, uh, ammo? It does. It uses ammo, but you start with three, right? Um, ammo. Oh, so that's three salvo. Yeah, so he can three right salvo. Through. Yep. Mm -hmm. This will be the last one he can do. Uh, I'm going to spend a threat, and uh, that's uh, two successes. Um, and uh, roll damage. Roll. Three damage with... Oh, that's six damage. Uh, because of Vicious. Uh, what's your armor? Uh, three. Three. So you take you take three damage. That's not as bad as it could be. Um, so yeah, he, he gets a good shot in on you. And it, like, it hits you in the, we'll say, uh, in the ankle or calf area. As he just unleashes uh, a bunch of like, he's just like, you know, pulling back the, um, what do you call it, the bolt on the, just just releasing shots at you over and over and over again. Um, and uh, either one of you can go. Um, so, Sartaj would, so let me know if this is possible. Sartaj would uh, drop, drop the rifle, mm -hmm. pull out his knife. Run an attack. Uh, don't think it's possible. Um, you can do... Um, hold on. <clears throat> Up to medium range. Hold on. There, there, might, be an, there might be a major action. Because your minor would be to, to pull out your weapon. Okay. Uh, we know that. Let me, let me just... Um, it's just if there's... A, let me look at the major actions. No, oh, sure. If there's one that you can do. 28. Trying to razzle-dazzle in the mountains mm, here. I don't think you're going to be able to razzle-dazzle in doing this. Uh, you can... Uh, nope. If that's not possible, it's fine. Then I just continue to fire. Let me, point, fire the let, me see, let me see. Oh, you don't have any momentum. But you can spend momentum. You can give me threat. So hold on. Uh, minor action. So you can give me threat for an extra minor action. So okay. that would be draw. And then your minor action could be movement. And then you can okay. attack. Because you're in medium okay, range. So, so you can do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll use that. I'll give you one threat. Yep. To drop to drop the rifle, uh, pull out the knife, and then run yep, an attack. You can do that on the. Mm -hmm. Yep. So here is the here is the knife. Uh, oh boy! Yes. Uh, so he gets to counter attack, um, and he'll do that with his bayonet. Uh, it hits. Go ahead and do damage. Oh, uh, you can give me a, um, you can give me a, uh, threat. Two threats. You can give me one threat to reroll, rerolls them all. Oh yeah, I'll give you one threat and then 
uh, reroll. Mm -hmm. Two, two, so two damage. Two, two damage. Yeah, that that doesn't one. get through his armor. Um, persistent. I think it has to get through his armor. I think it has to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Luke, you're up. As you see, so Sartage he kind of did a dive. Yeah, as Sartage is charging him. Um, did this rifle he have have a bayonet on it? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, yes, because he yeah, it sure did. Okay, so since um, you know, the he heard the familiar sound of a a bolt jamming uh, when he fired the weapon. So he knows he can either clear the round or engage into the melee attack with Sartage. So with uh, the bayonet on the end of the rifle, uh, he goes ahead and charges in as well, uh, going to stab uh, mm -hmm. stab him with yeah, the bayonet. So that's just a medium a move at medium, so you can move an attack. Uh, you can give me a give me a, a melee weapons attack, so you have focus, um, and that's uh, agility. And then we'll just do it by hand. We'll do the damage. Okay, so that's three successes. Uh, he <laughs> he counterattacks. Um, okay, so uh -oh. uh, so he. Uh, what would that be? So anyway, regardless, we'll figure out the complications. So uh, that's uh, two momentum you generate. Okay, we'll say you generate three because of the complication. Um, and your uh, damage on a bayonet is... Uh, it's kind of hard to... Uh, does he have any brawn? So I, I think it's 3 plus your brawn bonus, so it's going to be 5 for you. So I can just basically roll like the garrot because it says 3 plus 2 on that. Yeah, do that. That's fine. Oh, boy. 5 damage. Hey, um Let's see. Let's see. I think uh, I think the bayonet has piercing as well. Let's see. It does not have anything. So five damage. Um, he has armor of two. That gives him uh, three damage. Takes him to zero. Kills him. How, how does it look? So as Sartage and the German are kind of wrestling about, and he's trying to avoid the stabs. You know, he he doesn't hear the crunching of snow as you know Luke does the the charge. Uh, spear charge almost with the bayonet and just sinks it right into his back. Um, he sees it, but it's too late and he can't move out of the way and actually moves even more perfectly into it. And it pierces down to the, you know, tip of the barrel and uh, he just kind of does the uh, <laughs> and falls over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nobody else here. Oh. Thank you very much, uh, Sartage. I did not know if anyone was going to save me. Ah, Master Luke, it is so good to see you. Uh, I was afraid the worst would have uh, befallen you. We barely got out with our lives. Alina and Frank were hurt. Uh, they are on their way to uh, Bombay uh, for a debriefing. Uh, but I could not let uh, uh, a man be lost from my expedition and I came looking for you i'm so glad to see you the gods be praised the gods be praised uh, i am most thankful that you came and saved me uh, they had captured me a few days ago and uh i did not know what they planned to do with me it's very odd though they uh they aren't quite german oh. they they speak the language but uh it, i don't believe it is a native tongue did, did, did you see the creatures, uh, Luke? Did you see? Did, did you see the creatures that came after us from the cave? There was something uh, out there. It uh, gave me s some sort of I don't do know how to describe it. It uh, was a fear I've never felt before, and I ran. I hid, as shameful as that it is to admit, but. Uh, yeah, that you remember it as being it. some sort of shadow, some strange shadow. It was definitely because you saw the, you saw the deep one in the in the cave, right? It wasn't it wasn't yeah. the same thing as that. It is uh, hard to describe, almost like uh, ethereal. It was almost spiritual. It is uh, a shadow without form. It was uh, frankly terrifying, and by the time I recovered uh you all had left and then i was 
soon in pursuit, uh, being pursued by the Germans. Ah, then you came across something even worse than what we came across. Uh, we saw uh, fish, fish-like men walking and attacking us, uh, sending thoughts into our head and uh, f- causing pain, painful, painful headaches. But uh, uh, yeah, I am glad to see you're alive. And and now after hearing what Luke says, Sir Taj looks now closely, right? Like the battle is kind of done, and he's now looking at the people that they have killed. Um, is there something like in the facial features that Sir Taj might know that maybe they're local or who they are? Uh, like, uh, they're, are, they, are they're, for example, like do they yeah, do they seem Asian no, or do they seem they, white? They're or? you're European, probably. Uh, they're white, um, you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, but uh, as you're kind of looking them over, you see like something uh, tattooed on their necks. Uh, each one of them have the same tattoo, uh, and it's a it's a a triangle, and it has a uh, eyeball on the top of the tip of the triangle. Um, um, so uh, as he sees like that, like a lidless he eye, brings... kind of, you know, Mm-mm-mm. like a bow. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Not exactly. But yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's gonna, you know. Um, and he's going to bring Luke's attention to that. Look at this. This this is this is new. This is uh, different. Uh, and uh, Sartaj puts his heavy sack down. Here, here. Uh, I brought some blankets and some food and some uh, bandages if in case you are hurt. Uh, let me make a note of this. And Sartaj kind of pulls out a book, you know, small notebook, and draws that figure, um, you know, by looking closely at the tattoo and draws it in the book so that he can let. Uh, George and the others know if and when they meet. Um, we we must we must see if there's anything else on them. Uh, uh, that one there looks like an officer. Maybe they have papers or orders that might be helpful. And then we should get out of here. That is a good idea. And he, as he's saying that, he takes one of the bandages Sartage offered and pulls his pant leg up and you know kind of quickly dresses the the grazing. Uh, on his calf <clears throat> but then once he does that you know he kind of resecures it and maybe takes a blanket to warm up a little and starts searching each uh german and officer and maybe grabs his springfield loads it grabs his pistol makes sure it's loaded you know puts his holster on and maybe uh takes one of the bayonet blades and puts it on the his belt and proceeds to search through them for any clues as maybe what they were doing there or you know maybe orders of some kind that he could uh interpret yeah and on the officer he does have like a rucksack and you go through it and um there are some germ there's a lot of paperwork in there um so it's going to take some time to kind of you know go through it um but there is uh, one of them uh there's some in german and then there's one of them that is uh in uh, similar similar cipher or code or writing as uh, what you found at the temple like when uh, you guys looked at it uh, looks like a similar script mm-hmm. uh, looks what I found here is uh, this could be of uh, some use to us yes ah yes this the same writing as in the temple what is going on why is a little backwater temple so important to so many different people from all over the world? Ah, but I am not knowledgeable enough. Maybe, maybe you and I should travel with this back to the village, rest, recuperate, and make our way to Bombay. Maybe George and his superiors might be uh, find this information useful. I think. The sooner we can get back to uh, civilization, I think the better. Uh, it'll give us a chance to figure out what is going on. There's definitely something foul in that temple, and it seems to draw people to it. I, I just do not know. Yes, yes. Yes, we must leave. Uh, and uh, uh, even though it's night, you know, Sartaj kind of trekked all the way out here, so, you know, he's able to kind of... Uh, but but are you are you... Are you feeling strong enough, Luke? Can you can you make the journey? We we can rest once uh, 
once we hit sunrise, we can find some place. But I do not think we should uh, stay here any any longer. We might we will have to walk into the night. But I know the way for now. I trust your skills here, and uh, <laughs> I was raised in the jungles of uh, the Congo. I believe I'll be able to handle one more cold night on this uh, mountain. Very well. And uh, you know, Sartaj picks up the back backpack and puts it on his shoulder and uh, um, you know uh, checks his gun picks it up shoulders it and puts his knife back come let us make our way back yeah you you let the dead lay uh, and you uh, head back into uh, um, back uh, west uh, heading um, out of Bhutan eventually and back to where you can link up to uh, the vehicle that you drove uh, on the path, Sartage. And uh, that's it. If you got any final role play as you head back to the to the village, uh, I'll hear it. Yeah, like once once they're you know kind of back um, on the main trail and they see the jeep. You know, and uh, um, Sartaj starts driving it and he tells Luke, if you want to catch some some sleep, go ahead. I, I know the way from here, but uh, I believe there, there lies long days of travel ahead of us. Uh, thank you for that. I think I will uh, go ahead and nap for a little bit, but uh, if you need me to just holler, I will spring up at a moment's notice. Thank you, my friend. And do not forget, uh, I owe you, and I always repay my debts. We are friends. We have seen things that no man should see and experienced things that no one should. I do not think that this matter is over here, and before long, I may hold you to that, uh, for I feel all of us are in danger. That which hunted us, I don't think it will stop. It has got to do with the scroll, I think, and we might have done something that man should not have. Whatever it is, I will face it with you and uh, the others. Very well. Get some rest, friend. And I shall drive back and Sartaj starts, uh, you know, starts the jeep and uh, he makes sure that he doesn't like, you know, go over to big boulders or rocks and make sure that it's as pleasant a journey as possible. So Luke can get some rest. And uh, that's it for me. Yeah. Eventually uh, you do return back to the, uh, uh, the village and uh, you uh, um, are there uh, with no... Uh, Basically, or there are um, uh, British liaisons about, and uh, they uh, book you on a uh, flight to Bombay um, through uh, some, uh, you know, secondary um, airports, and uh, you eventually will uh, head south, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, one yeah. more thing. Uh -huh. You know, once they get back to the village. Uh, Sartaj would uh, um, work with the British liaison to send a telegram to George in Bombay uh, with the message, uh, found Luke, stop. Uh, no, sorry, found Luke alive, stop. More information, stop. On our way to Bombay, stop. Yeah, I'm guessing this village probably does not have a, have a telegraph, but... Um... Probably the the one where you land before you go on to Bombay Doves, so you can send the yep. message ahead. And uh, yeah, that works for me. They will uh, be alerted uh, to your coming. And that's all. Wait. One hour. Yay.